The pandemic's been a challenge definitely for supply chains globally, and that's something that has impacted the lead credit category. Um, so things like disrupted you know, supply chain, the availability of products, the uh, shortages of products, and also the prevalence of, of some products in particular, things like um, add-ons for furniture to allow for, for safety, like spacing and distancing and partitions, things like that, are in demand now that, at a rate that wasn't. So just like any, of, any other parts of the economy, uh, there are parts of the building sector that have drastically been affected by COVID-19. So there's some impacts there around guidance for some of the practices we've we've got in the rating system, like designing for flexibility of space is something that uh, we've had in, say, the commercial interiors rating system. But we're looking for how can that also be applied in this, this pandemic, as we know that offices are changing, the face of the office is changing. You know, we had been moving towards these kind of open floor plans with more people in them, uh, but will this be a return to the closed office space again that we used to see. And really that's that's kind of to be determined, but what what is, is of concern for the materials category is what does that mean for waste? What does that mean for new materials, old materials? Um, so we're struggling and wrapping our head around all those things. More specifically, there have been some disruption for waste management and diversion at this time. So construction waste facilities that recycle that stuff have had a challenge in some places. Either they've they've had to close down, or the workers um, maybe needed to be a little farther apart, or the social distancing required them to to do some practices that maybe didn't end up with the same recycling rates they're used to. So we have seen some impacts in construction waste from from those, and also on the job site as a contractor, you also may have to do those things. Um, I was hearing from one team that. They had made great headway in, for example, uh, using get, getting rid of, of water bottles on the job site and using these water coolers that were refillable with refillable mugs and things. But they can't do that anymore because of the pandemic. And so that's uh, that has it, it's it's a small amount of waste, but it has the potential to contaminate the good work they're doing on construction waste separation. So that's a big issue that we are working on and providing some some guidance to teams. I think the last thing is there's a lot that can be done um, that already is in the rating system that can be done to help with with responding to the pandemic, and things like choosing products and materials that are low emitting, that have lower uh, health hazards just intrinsically, um, things that can be recycled. So say you're putting up all this furniture and maybe need to take it down or move it around in the future, how can we make sure that those products and materials can be reused, refurbished, uh, repurposed, things like that? Uh, those all those core criteria we have in the rating system, I think, will help out with a lot of the pandemic-related impacts. So, yeah, it's a it's a big change for the industry, and certainly the materials and resources category. But I think um, there are lots of solutions out there that uh, that are readily available.